And can you just step us through the actual process, like how you saw it at your end in terms of the key steps and what were the key considerations for you as you actually went through that that thing of setting up the plan? Because as I mentioned before, I think sometimes people get overwhelmed that thinking that it's going to be this um, enormous project and like obviously it's a bit of how long is a piece of string, but can you just unpack what that sort of looked and felt like for you? Yep. Um, so do you mean like the process from like when I reached out um, to to oh, and also like setting up bank accounts and things like that or? Yes. Yes. Um, so for me, what it looked like was we had a initial chat um, with with one of the members of your team. And, and then after that, I um, was uh, matched with Marcus to to have a few meetings about and to just like, you know, um, actually, I think before the meetings we did, um, uh, I I think there were some documents and things like that I had to put together um, mm -hmm. to to just. Um, so we understood, so, so that we can get a clear picture of all of the things that are going to impact your plan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then from then there on, um, yeah, that's after that we had a couple of uh, long meetings with, with my financial advisor, Marcus, and that's where we like really talked through, you know, why I decided to say budget this much for a certain thing or um, or like how comfortable would I be in terms of like um, what I wanted to, how much I wanted to invest versus um, just keep aside in savings in the bank. Mm -hmm. And he was also... Uh, really helpful in terms of, um, I guess, making me feel more financially illiterate because there were a lot of things where um, there were concepts where I where I didn't quite understand or it was, um, yeah, it was just really helpful to actually see why he advised me, the things he advised and just, you know, uh, like feeling like I could make a more informed choice. Um, and then after, I, I guess, after we'd clarified everything, um, the next part was, uh, I guess, uh, for him to go away and put together a financial plan for me. And um, and once he had done that, we met up to, to talk through it. And I also have a written version of it so that uh, I could still refer back to it. And um, that had all the steps for lots of different aspects of my um finances and uh, even yeah I think it was really good that even though I was uh, initially thinking about getting financial advice for you know for investment advice or for getting my spending and savings correct like you guys just looked at the whole picture and also gave me advice on my um, on my super and then also on my employee share options plan so it was just helpful to have all that information in one place and um, after after I had my financial advice, it was um, basically time for me to uh, go away, have a look at it and start actioning some of the things from that. And I feel like uh, there was a lot of uh, support um, from the team again to make sure I was on track and um, yeah, getting getting uh, all of those, you know, bank accounts set up and other mm. accounts set up. Um, so yeah, that was that was mostly it. Absolutely, yeah. So there's so much... Uh stuff that sits around it that I know even for my personal stuff that you just you end up with these forms and things to do and it's like oh it's it's easy when you're especially you're busy you know you're you're working and you're doing some study and stuff as well and then you've got an actual life that sits around that that uh, I found that I again for, for me that sometimes without that nudge I um, it ends up on the to-do list and sits there for ages. Uh, so I think especially when you're rolling out all of those things at once, that, uh, yeah, having that the gentle sort of nannering um, to, to make sure that it happens is is going to mean, you know, come together a, a lot more quickly. So, um, yeah, that's uh, – there, there is, unfortunately, with financial services, it's still – and there are more and more products that have really sort of easy and, and clean um, user experiences, but – a lot of them still there they've got their compliance obligations and it means that it ends up being a little bit more complicated or or um, admin heavy than you know what we might get in another area